people, welcome to Model Kit Stuff. It's first impression time, and this time we're doing something a little bit different from my norm. Welcome to today's first impressions, which focuses on this Pegasus Hobbies 1 to 350 scale Martian tripods attack diorama. Actually, it doesn't say it's Martian, and I don't think the film that this is based on actually said they were Martians either, but the original book, they're Martians. So this is the War of the Worlds inspired um, model from the film, the Tom Cruise, Steven Spielberg film. Um, and what we've got here is a full diorama in a box, which is really nice. And pretty much what you're seeing on the box art is what you're going to get in the kit. So we've got um, two Martian or alien tripods. Uh, we've got a street scene with a high-rise building that's being um, uh, attacked. And you can see people are being taken out of it and so on. Now, my box has got a little bit of damage in the post, but otherwise it's all good. And I did have a quick look inside, and the kit's okay. Um, so on the top of the box, it's telling us it's Pegasus Hobbies. Um, on this side here, um, it says, created from the original 3D computer model files used in the movie. So it should be fairly accurate to the movie. Um, and then it tells you a little bit about it that it is based on the 2005 blockbuster film. Um, also says it's 14 and above. Um, the ends, both of them are pretty much telling us what we get on the top. And then when we look on this side, we get an image of the built-up unpainted model. And you can see we've got heat rays and um, so we've got two slightly different types of tripod one with heat rays and one with heat rays and also um, the tentacles for picking up objects um, it says copyright 2017 um, and it gives us a kit number just here of 91763 as we open the box which is a little tricky because of the crush damage go uh, we can see that the box is actually the box lids quite a good corrugated um, box and that's helped with the uh, uh, stopping the crush from getting any worse so good strong packaging better than many to be honest we have our instructions and then we have individually bagged um, sprues some of them have two sprues in a bag and then the base at the bottom so let's have a look at these. So instructions. our instructions are an A4 um, portrait stapled booklet, black and white throughout. Um, on the front here we've got the imagery of the uh, box art um, and some of the information that was on the box is also um, on here. And when we open up the page we can see we start with a sprue map. Um, and we do have the numbers on there, so um, you can use it for cross-referencing should you want to. Um, so it shows we've got two A's, two B's, two C's, two D's, a stand, an E, and an F, uh, and some brass wire, which is interesting. Um, not quite sure what the brass wire is for. I'm sure we'll find out in a minute. And our build starts in step two because they've called the kit part step one, strangely. But our step two starts with building of the upper part of the, uh, sorry, the lower part of the tripod hood. Um, so we've got the cages going in, C being um, clear parts. So we've got um, the cages are clear, so you could probably give them a bit of a dry brush and you might be able to pick out the detail of that, I think. Then we've got um, building up of these tubes on the inside. If we turn the page over, 
step three, nice, clear, well spaced, uh, spaced out steps, to be honest. And look at how much space you've got for writing notes or whatever you might need. Um, so we're then building up um, this two parts there, put um, this piece on the front, and then that goes in the center, and that's that big um, light, if you remember from the film. Then we've got these going on the front. Step four, we're attaching the um, heat ray uh, devices. And then we are building up the hip assembly. Step six, and we're attaching inner mandibles and wire tentacles. So there is some brass wire used for tentacles, which means that you'll be able to um, position that as you want so that's that's quite cool um, then we've got um, uh, these are the mandibles going on um, so that's really nice cut and shape supplied tentacle wire to your preference so that's quite a nice little touch actually um, seven we're building up the waist and the hips um, and then it says outer mandibles so there's more of these mandibles going on quite insect like isn't it um, and then we've got this this bit here which is effectively like a neck that the uh, the main thing's going to connect onto head cover is a cl um, clear plastic parts um, so we build that up. We've got all these little spines, which is uh, um, nicely done. It's a separate part that pushes through holes in the clear part by the look of it. Um, and then we're adding this um, neck piece, or they called it as a hip, don't they, um, onto the underside of this um, tripod head. Then we're building in steps um, 10 the legs. So you... Obviously, you've got three. It's a tripod, and then you've got um, three um, separate uh, feet at the end, toes, if you like. So several parts putting that together to make sure we've got plenty of detail, so that's cool. Uh, finish assembling the legs and put that on upside down. Then... Uh, so uh, probably I would assemble those at the same time as they assemble the others so we can paint all the sub-assemblies together. Step 12 um, starts with the building and we've got some interior detail but very basic. It's just empty spaces. So you could probably scratch build some furniture and stuff like that but remember it's 1 to 350 scale so um, you're only putting basic stuff in. Step 13, we add the building onto our base. We've got some cars and some people to paint up, um, as well as some street lights, traffic lights. And then step 14, we add the two tripods and um, the heat rays, which again are clear parts. So you could paint some of these into flames and things at the end if you wanted, or give it an orange tinge, whatever you fancy really. It's fictional at the end of the day. Um, then on page 14, we get our painting guide. They're not advising brands. They're just telling you colours and giving them a reference number. Um, so they've got what... Some of these are actually just for the signs, and then it's telling you, you know, dark grey for the street, um, steel metallic, What's the, where's that P4, oh, for the tripod. So, you know, it's fairly basic. There's no um, purple hues or anything like that being shouted out, so you may want to do some of your um, own work on the paints as well. And they do say colours suggested are for reference only. Refer to box art for additional colour reference and weathering ideas. And that's it. So fairly basic instructions, but easy and clear to follow. Let's have a look at the parts. So I'm starting with sprucey, first one out of the box. We'll get two of these in a bag, and these are our clear parts. It's a well-spaced out um, sprue um, and you can see we get our heat rays which 
both appear to have um, bubbles in the moulding. Um, not that I think it's a, a, a huge issue. Then we've got these cages, which actually, the, the detail on them is nice, and it is raised, but it's only just raised, so... Yeah, it might be more difficult than I thought to uh, to paint those. They might look just all right as they are. Maybe put a hue into the gla into the glass. Don't know. And then finally, uh, on what they call sprue D, but is attached to C, you've got the hood. Um, it's got just one um, sprue connector, so you've got one flow of plastic. So you're not going to have any. Um, spider in or you know swirl effects or anything like that the detail is absolutely lovely very very subtle actually so it'd be a case of painting it and weathering it to make it pop so you can see all the little detail I can hardly feel that under my fingers um, but it's all on the outside not on the inside so Nicely done. Sprue F now, this is part of our building, and actually the building's quite nicely done. Um, it, some of the plastic is a bit sort of basic and chunky, um, but gets you where you need to be. You can paint those individually, maybe scratch build some office desks or something or some cupboards or something to, to make the rooms look a little bit individual um, or just put some debris in, not sure but you've got the framework which will add to that as well because you'll have some windows and things broken into that um, so yeah, that, that, that looks alright the outside of the building, again, basic but you've got the basic stuff there so you, you could put a door on and you could maybe... Um, put a little sign on or something like that there's things you could do to uh, liven it up and we've got our street lights there they're not bad at all for 1350 scale so yeah that all looks all right i think there's no issues with sink they're quite thick chunky parts so there could have been but that all looks good see perhaps a little bit of sink just there in the roof but it's hardly anything easy to sort now and we've got more of the building so the other two sides um, and there's some form of little uh, building going off to the side there um, there's some people you can see which you could probably paint up on the sprue largely uh, and then we've got the vehicles which includes a pickup truck which has got a little load in it which is pretty cool um, and then Another uh, pickup truck, a car, and a little sports car as well. So they're really quite cool. For the scale, I think they're pretty nice. But no issues with those. All the parts are clear. A little bit of clean-up to do. A little bit of seam. It's not flash. It's just it's a little bit seam-heavy. B now, and again, we've got two of these. And largely, this is dealing with um, the legs. So we've got... Um, one, two, three parts which are our legs and then we've got attachments for the legs um, we've got the um, um, arms as they called it which has the uh, fires the heat ray and we've got the foot there so we've got basically the same leg arrangement for both the tripods but obviously one of only one of them you put the tentacles on according to the box art. Then we've got these little spines that stick out of the top of the clear part and they're really quite nicely moulded actually. They're nice and crisp, there's no issues, no flash, minimal clean up. Um, and then we've got these um, proboscis here, which again, you know, um, just cleaning them up. There's nothing wrong with them. All good. Some nice detail on the legs. Again, painting it, picking some bits out in different in different colours, giving it a wash. You could really make this sing. So, 
Yeah, nothing wrong with that. There's our legs. A, again, two of these, and this is mainly dealing with the main body um, of the of the tripod. We've got this underside here, and you can see there's lots of detail being put into that. And um, this is where those two cages locate. Um, we've got this main eye, which again has got lots of surface detail um, and various little bits that get attached on. This is the mount for the legs, where our three legs are going to attach. And then um, these go right on the top of the, uh, of the head there. So they almost look like um, bug eyes, but, th but they're not. Yeah, nice little detail. All the parts are nice and crisp. Um, just your usual sprue gate and seam clean up but there's no issues with any of these parts. All very nice. Back on its own is our copper wire, and it looks like we've got four pieces that are bent over, or it could be one piece that's been bent over several times. Difficult to tell. I think it's one piece bent over several times. But there's our copper wire, and that'll be easy to work with. And that's a nice little top. Finally, we have our base, and it's a flipping heavy, weighty piece of plastic, I've got to say. Um, yeah, it is really quite heavy. It's most of the weight of the kit is in the base. Um, and we can see we've got the street scene um, with a junction there. This is where our building is going to be built. We've got lots of broken buildings and rubble that we can paint up. And then this War of the Worlds logo. Um, so you'll be able to place your cars, your people, and to a certain degree your tripods as you wish. So, yeah, so it's a nice little base, well presented, and should paint up nicely. So there you have it, the Pegasus Hobbies 1 to 350 scale tripods attack diorama kit based on the 2005 War of the Worlds film um, from Steven Spielberg. What's my first impression? Uh, I think it's a really nice kit. It's nice to have a diorama. Um, I think everything is well done. The instructions are simple and clear to follow. Um, the level of surface detail is great, and it's come from the original uh, digital drawings, so you know that it's accurate. Um, I think it's a, a, a lovely thing. It should be really fairly easy to build up, um, and then all the fun gets in the in the painting and you've got some areas where you could do some scratch building and add to it if you wish to. For me one of the highlights is the fact that it's 1 to 350 scale which means you could use these tripods with a 1 to 350 scale ship if you wanted to do a dockyard scene or recreate maybe from the original book the Thunder Child scene which I have to say is why I bought it. So um, I won't be using the diorama, I'll just be using the tripods. But I think they look great. I think they've done a really good job uh, of presenting the model. It's simple, um, and it's no fuss. The uh, copper wire addition um, is a really nice idea as well. Um, so you can post things as you want. I think it's really nice. Um, what's not to like? Nice, straightforward, simple kit that's going to look brilliant when painted up. So, um, got to be honest, I love it. Hope that was useful. If you're in the market for one of these and you've ummed and ahed about it, you now know what you get in the box. Thanks for looking in. Enjoy your modelling, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.